Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, baby, baby? What's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that good, other beautiful, wonderful shit. Now, check this out. This video is something I'm giving y'all some of my secrets that really not secrets. It's gotten out over the years. How dare you people tell how I stay so magnificent? <laughs> now, truly, this here, um, this shit right here, which is the, the, you know, the Bragg, the Bragg apple cider vinegar. This here is a lifesaver, and I'm gonna tell y'all why, for many reasons. If you don't, it's, it's only like five bucks, man. Get Bragg's though, I, I see some knockoffs, I don't trust knockoffs, but I tell you this, get the Bragg, man, because it has so many great qualities. Not only should you be taking it for yourself, you know what I mean? It lowers the blood pressure, you know? It detoxes the body, it helps with the skin, it helps with body odor, kills bacteria. I mean, it's a litany of things, the, uh, not only with the immune system and the metabolism, and it's just so many things that it does. You know, uh, for yourself, you love it. I, I'm gonna tell y'all something real quick before I get into the dogs. Um, about three months ago, uh, for whatever reason, my blood pressure spiked, you know, and it, I think it was just a change in the medications that caused it to spike. I wasn't really eating too horribly or anything like that. But um, yeah, it spiked up a little bit, man. And I was like, damn, I had never had any issues with uh, blood pressure. So, you know, at the time they were trying to give me some blood pressure medicine. And I was like, you know what? Nah, I think I'm just gonna try, you know, home remedy. And uh, I had, I was already had the apple cider vinegar in mind. And then uh, a friend of mine's, uh, actually blew down on me and said, look, it brought mine down in two weeks. You know what I mean? Drink you uh, three or four teaspoons of that a day and watch, your, you know, keep your diet right and watch it go down. And absolutely, I went back two weeks later and I was back in a normal range of blood pressure, not quite to where my normal good was. And that happened over a month or so, but just with that, bam, right back down. And it was a wonderful thing. And I've had several other people try it with high blood pressure and they've actually gotten off of their medicine and are just doing that and uh, changing up the diet a little bit. But anyway, with your dogs, a lot of, you know, dogs is nasty, man. Dogs like to get into everything. Dogs, you know, have fur, just, you know, so, their skin is a little different. It holds a little more bacteria and different things of that nature. I'll tell you this about this apple cider vinegar, man. You put the apple cider vinegar in your dog's water. You don't need much, you know, a couple teaspoons here or there. You know, if you got the big bowl, maybe four or five teaspoons. But you give, you give them the, them dogs uh, the apple cider vinegar. Me, I'm crazy. I take a syringe and I pop pop it in the mouth with it <laughs> but uh you know on a daily basis it can cause you a lot of it can cause you a lot of uh you know what well it can alleviate a lot of the causes you know you'll notice better skin with your dogs you'll notice better digestion with your dogs you'll notice a lot of the bacteria and the small sicknesses that they usually get it can defend against that fleas and ticks do not like vinegar uh, uh and dogs that are in are uh, you know that, that have that uh have that vinegar in their blood. It also shown that if you take the vinegar and you spray your, spray your dog's coat down with it, not only can it leave the coat looking nice and lustrous and all that stuff, it kills any kind of bacteria, fungus, or any of that type of things that's on the skin. I mean, overall, man, y'all look into it, but it's just so many different things that apple cider vinegar helps. And you know, you'll notice that your dogs are just a lot healthier trust me a lot healthier and you can also i mean you can also put it on their food too you know a couple teaspoons on their food especially if you got good eaters that you know that, that devour their food and things like that you can sprinkle it over their food and typically when you sprinkle it over their food they take it down pretty well also but you know you want to get them a couple teaspoons a day and get it in their system man because it works wonders and it's a, it's a thing that seriously can keep you up out of the uh up out of the veterinarian office a lot you know by the by the properties that's in it i've just noticed a great great difference you know uh mandela for a while he had something crazy going on with his skin that i just couldn't couldn't shake man and i had some good products that came in and uh and they cleared it up and then as they wanted to try to come back i said you know what let me implement this into there and man dude is looking incredible i spray i actually take a spray bottle with some diluted vinegar uh basically uh two parts water uh 
a third of a uh, third of that's vinegar so you know two-thirds uh, water and the other third vinegar I got a little spray bottle man I spritz him down with it and I mean his skin has just came back to life really 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 nice and that's with just a natural solution that I didn't have to do a lot uh, with uh, from the skin side of it, coconut oil also does a lot of the same properties that the vinegar does. Uh, coconut oil is very good. Olive oil is another uh, very, very good thing to do. But I, I, I had to do this one for the uh, Bragg's apple cider vinegar because I'm telling y'all, they ain't paying me shit, as y'all know. I wish they was. You know, or at least give me some free fucking vinegar. But uh, <laughs> this company, man, I mean, not this company, but this the, the product, uh, the apple cider vinegar, you got to get the apple cider. Even if you don't buy Bragg's, make sure you get the, the one with the mother in there, the one that's cloudy that you got to shake up. That's where all the good shit is at. But it'll do, it'll work wonders for you. It'll work wonders for your dogs. And like I say, we're in a we in an era now where everybody want to have a heavy amount of antibiotics, antibiotics. This will eliminate most of the issues that you'll see with the antibiotics. You'll notice your dog's eyes clearing up. You'll notice your dog's, you know, a lot of things clearing up on the dogs, you know. And I, I tell you, with, as somebody who works out a ton, and this is, just, I know you're like, ah. Everybody who works out, you know, the worst thing is the, 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 the sweaty clothes. You know, that shit stinks. But at the end of the day, when I stay on my routine, you know, now which I do of getting my apple cider vinegar in in my system, man, it kills the bacteria and it has your system so good that even your body odor is different, you know? I come out to the gym and I'm sweaty and everything, but for real, for real, you know, and I'm, I'm being serious with y'all. You wouldn't even know I went to the gym if I take the wet clothes off. You'd be like, it's, it's no smell. It, just, it, it works. You know, so uh, that still don't mean you can't. You ain't got to wash your ass. But <laughs> but it works. You know, it, it really, really works. It uh, it helps you inside and out. So y'all make sure y'all take a look into that uh, apple cider vinegar. Add it to your diet. Add it to your dog's diet. Health is wealth. Until next time, much love. Peace.